Hello YouTubers, today I have a Xbox One here. This one came in as uh, shutting down after 10 minutes. So what we're going to do is plug it in. You hit the power button. So it's booting up. I ain't got nothing on the screen. It was weird. I was hearing something. So it just kicked off right there. But it sounded like it was like, I don't know, either power cycling. It was like a, making a, like a, kind of like a buzzing noise almost in a sense. I'm trying to start. So I do notice that the game console is kind of pretty dirty there. So it probably overheated. As you can see, that's pretty. And we got the back here. It's a little bad, not that much. But if we come over here on this side, you can see that there's a lot of air being restricted for cooling the system down. And the fan looks pretty dirty, so let's get started taking this apart. So you can see it's kind of dirty. I'm going to mute it so you guys can't hear the vacuum. Yeah, because I don't want that dust flying around. So it does appear to be tampered with. So that's not a good sign. Like the always the last one's gonna be a pain in the butt. All right, there we go. The front cover wants to come out. I don't know why. So we didn't put it back together right. So I'm going to disconnect the cable here. For the sink board.
Let somebody pray. Got to get at the screw at the bottom here. Smoker, that's what it is. Disconnect the sink board. So you need to take out these. Flip it over. Move all the bottom. Uh, Motherboard screw. Alright, so once you got it out halfway, press it out here. There we go. What the hell kind of crap is that? This is pretty strange right here. I don't know what all this crap is. I know you'll see that you'll see it a little bit of resin, you know, around there, but I don't know. I have no idea. Never seen it that caked up before. It's a uh, powdery. That is pretty strange. I mean, it's really bad over there.
no way of really telling if it's conductive or not. Alright, let's get off the heat sink here. Thermal paste is dried up, sticky. Yeah, this is beyond, I don't know. I don't even know if I want to refill this. Yeah, and since this this was the label, the warranty sticker, which most of them are removed, but somebody obviously messed with this one. What I'm going to do is just clean that bottom. See what happens. don't even want to come off either. Hmm. Kind of wondering if I should just throw this in the cleaner. is warped a little bit too as expected yeah cause I really don't want to scrub this stuff Mm. 
and comes off in some areas pretty good. Yeah, I don't know what, somebody must have spilled something on this. They try cleaning it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw it in the cleaner. And stuff I'm gonna throw this in the cleaner after I'm done giving it an alcohol bath afterwards too uh, after getting out of the cleaner then I'm gonna come back here and we're gonna dry it I believe I don't know what some of this stuff is I mean that's the resin on there that they use from the factory I know you would see a little bit on some of the back connectors but not this crazy I can't say I haven't seen it, but not like splattered all over. I mean, it's splattered in all different spots, which is just kind of strange. You know, you would probably see some of that stuff with the capacitors leaking, but there's no way for the capacitors to be leaking on this side. That's what they would have used to, you know, solder the capacitors and connectors in, which is flux. But I mean, it's... It's, this was liquid damaged. I mean, you know how I could see this? Well, we'll go underneath the microscope here. My side camera. Can you see there's uh, the corrosion there? Glad I didn't overlook this, but I'm not even. So I'll be back after this is dry. Alright, so I got the board all cleaned. It's out of the sonic cleaner. You can see there's no residue lines. The board is nice and clean. What I'm going to do is just go over it with uh, some pressure and some hot air. make sure there ain't no other excess water or alcohol underneath it see there's some still underneath the ram mainly the chips
by using the forced air and a little bit of heat it just dries it up I mean you could put it in a little small heater do that but you really don't want you know that stuff sizzling or boiling up underneath there creating any corrosion so it's best just to do it this way this is how I clean a lot of the electronics All right, now that's kind of normally what a board would look like. You would have a little bit of that flux around here. I'm just going to get any of it. It's a little bit caked up still. Any sections.
That's good enough. Let's put it back together with some uh, new thermal paste on it. That's good. Yeah, I'm not gonna clean the the board just or the fan just yet. Cause I'm not gonna spend any time on it. Just because somebody tried covering up their water damage, or tried cleaning that at first, or something. All right, we got the clamp on there. Somebody obviously marked this too, blue. Plug in our HDMI, power, speaker, oh, I gotta plug it in, power supply. Huh? Hey, we just seen a fan spin. That was a nice healthy fan spin for just plugging it in. See if it stays on longer than I don't know what it was, five seconds or thirty seconds.
Yep, still won't boot. It's weird now I'm not hearing the buzzing noise. Okay, it sounds like a bad hard drive. So it's probably maybe getting trolled by a bad hard drive. Yep. <clears throat> Wondering if it's getting en enough voltage or something, because. You guys probably can't hear that humming. I don't know if you guys can or not. We're getting our five bolts.
There we go. It's a bad hard drive the whole time. A bad hard drive the whole time. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, replace the hard drive. Seagate 500 gig hard drive. So I'll replace it with this 500 Western Digital. But yeah, crazy. See, now it's staying booted. The whole time it was a damn hard drive. At least the board is nice and clean and... Got all that cro corrosion off on the other side of it. But it was water damaged at one point, so... It's booted, you can see the fan still spinning. Uh, it says something went wrong with your Xbox on the screen. It says, reset this Xbox. So what I'm going to have to do is put this together with the hard drive, but what I'm going to do is format the hard drive and then uh, install the operating system, which isn't fun on the Xbox One, but... So I'm not going to show you guys the boring uh, video of installing the software. It's a long process. You got to make uh, multiple different partitions on the drive with the operating system on it. So hope you guys liked the video. The whole time this was the hard drive that was failed. I heard the buzzing noise just very slight like ee, ee. Tech, check the voltage, getting the right voltage, put another drive in it and the system actually booted up now so i got to reinstall the software on it hope you guys like this video if you guys get a chance give this a thumbs up also if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel hit that subscribe button and as always thanks for watching